So um, I guess there was a bit of a technical problem there. Um, I'm back on live. Um, if you've been watching this um, tutorial and then um, if you can't stream it back, uh, I do apologize uh, for the inconvenience, but this video will be posted to YouTube so you could uh, see the whole uh, tutorial on YouTube. And we also sent you a follow-up email with the link. Um, so we're talking about double pull. Um, so what we're doing here is we got two circuit that we run here, um, one for tamper and one for alarm. Um, so let me quickly point that. So the first and the last one is connected to the zone. And the second and the third one is then connected to um, the, the tamper circuit. So it should, in fact, go here. Uh, with the tamper circuit. So this is your uh, tamper circuit and that's your alarm circuit uh, for a PAR. The only difference with a PAR, because it uses a small printed circuit board, it has to be energized. For that reason, it needs power, so plus or minus. So let me show you a, a PAR. This is the Honeywell uh, PAR. You have two terminals for tamper, two terminals for alarm, and another two terminal which then power the PAR. So I'm just using these lines um, to represent the wires. So I've got two cables that's going to my tamper circuits. I've got the blue one and the yellow one. As I said before, there's no requirement for you to stick to the same color coding but if you if it's not set in the manual you could use any colors uh, they don't want to make any difference but if you stick to a standard it makes your life easier when you go to your customer next time then i've got the alarm side of it i've got two colors that i'm using here i'm using orange and green the alarm cables normally come as six core and eight core i would recommend you to buy eight core cable uh, the price difference is not huge, but it gives you the flexibility of having two extra cable. So you could now, if, you want, if you're experiencing voltage drop or if you need to use with biscuits or IDs, you could use the extra pair. All right, coming back here, I've got a, an alarm panel. This is a Centaur G4 panel from Honeywell. And these are the zones. So I've got eight zones. So the cable will now, the cable that were connected with our alarm circuit will then come to the zone. Um, in the previous slide, you'd have probably seen that I was using orange and green. So they come here, and then I'm using the tamper circuit where blue and yellow. So I'll show you how to wire uh, basic PARs. And door context. Now you can see the door context are wired straight into the zone one, and the PAI is wired to zone two, the first one, and the second one is wired to zone three. Whereas the tamper is concerned, it's only using one tamper circuit, so it's wired as a um, circuit. So you can now see that from here, this goes to the tamper circuit, then the tamper circuit, tamper terminal from here, then connected to the next one. And that one goes back to the panel. Now, in reality, you can't do that. You might have PRs in different locations. What you simply do is you bring them all into the panel and then use connector blocks to connect these wires together. And I've got a bell connection here. Uh, they're pretty straightforward, plus and minus, power and ground. Then you've got the yellow for strobe, and then you've got the green, that's for the alarm or hold up and then you got the white one for tamper so there are five terminals in a bell connection and um, the very obvious ones are the power for bell plus and minus so we normally use red for plus and then minus we use black color and strobe since it's like the light so we use yellow and then we use another cable for sound or known as bell 
So we're using here green and then also a tamper. So tamper kind of controls the tamper circuit of a bell. So that's the end of this tutorial. I do again apologize for what has happened with the technical error, but you, instead of having it in one um, video tutorial, now you got two set of video tutorials. Um, so if you go to our YouTube channel, you could find both uh, you, uh, video tutorials, um, so it will be archived. Also, if you go to Facebook, you'll find more information about into the alarm system. So if you want to find us on Facebook, simply go and type CCTV installation course, all one word. You would find our website in Facebook or Facebook page. And don't forget to subscribe to our newsletters. Uh, you will get a free ebook, so you could download the free ebook. Uh, on into the alarm. Also, we have an ebook for CCTV installation as well. So, until I see you in another video tutorial or webinar, uh, it's bye from Ferdinand, and I'll see you in another one. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah.